Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be in the studio today with Mr. Afamasaga Rico Tupai, who is the Minister for the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology of Samoa. Minister, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Pleasure to be here today. Now, I'd like thank to start off. Thank you very much indeed. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about the overall impact of ICTs on Samoa's socio-economic development in terms of the fact that th this year's theme is uh, ICTs for SDGs. Um, technology and information um, digital transformation is very fast uh, changing in the world at the moment and uh, it's impacting us on us as well in our development. In, um, I've only been a minister now for just over a year, uh, six months and um, we have done quite a bit of work. Uh, we're working at the moment to, to try and uh, lock our whole digital transformation together and bring everything together for us in terms of internet. It's, a, it's, uh, it's, it's really impacting on us. And uh, we're trying to bring in some submarine cables, connectivity in terms of broadband. Uh, we're fast moving in terms of our uh, uh, mobile broadband. Unfortunately, with the fixed uh, broadband, we're trying, uh, still trying to connect our country. But uh, international um, connection is, uh, is been worked out at the moment. And by the end of this year, we have one submarine cable coming in. Uh, that comes via Fiji. Um, by the end of 2018, we have another one uh, coming via Tahiti. So. We expect the growth uh, economically and socially to be uh, very high and uh, increasing rapidly, and uh, dramatic uh, reduction in costs for us through the connectivity in terms of these submarine cables. What about ICTs helping you in terms of obviously what well, must be one of your major concerns in terms of climate change, rising sea levels, uh, in terms of, uh, say, th those kind of issues which, of course, you must be uh, particularly of concern to you? Yes, we, uh, the government is uh, taking priority in terms of uh, natural disasters and uh, preparations, identifying and uh, working out for the country in terms of uh, what times and what vulnerable times for us will be in terms of tide, in terms of uh, cyclones. So ICT is, is, is very helpful and uh, impacting very positively on this side of our uh, climate change preparations, um, uh, climate change impacts our lives everywhere and all the time, including livelihood. So um, we're hoping that uh, the impact of internet in terms of agriculture, you know, preparation of crops and uh, harvesting, you know, that's, that's ICT and that's how much we rely on ICT in all areas of our development, especially in climate change. What would you say the major challenges or obstacles facing you in terms of uh, using ICTs for sustainable development? Uh, mostly number one at the moment and priority for us is the cost. Cost is very high at the moment and very expensive uh, in terms of connectivity. Connect to internet, to access information in terms of education, in terms of health. It's very expensive for us. And um, second challenge for us is in terms of um, isolated areas, we would like to bridge the digital divide in terms of uh, not only infrastructure, but in terms of knowledge as well. We, we're trying to connect as, much, as uh, many schools as possible at the moment domestically before the submarine cable arrives so that when the two ends are connected of the domestic connection as well as the submarine international connection, then we have information going efficiently and uh, all over the country and everybody can easily access. And in terms of for cooperation with ITU, how has uh, your country benefited cooperating with ITU? ITU has uh, really assisted us in a lot of ways. And if I may speak as well in terms of not just our country, but the whole Pacific, all Pacific islands, uh, we're all regarded as uh, small islands developing states. And uh, ITU, we are very much the, uh, dependent on IT, ITU in a lot of things, from um, especially with capacity building uh, in all areas. And it's really uh, preparing our ICT, uh, our ICT personnel, and uh, government services uh, to be able to facilitate 
digital transformation and our digital economy uh, transition. Uh, I see ITU has, uh, has been really um, uh, helpful in all areas for us. And not only that, but also uh, assisting us in terms of infrastructure. We've had uh, several, uh, a number of islands in the Pacific where ITU have supplied satellite uh, to, to, to try and cater and uh, try and curb the problem of connectivity and internet connection in some of the isolated areas. And Samoa is one of those islands. And uh, we're very happy to be recipients of a lot of ITU uh, aid. Now, this is a major event in ITU's calendar. This is the, the basically the, the uh, one that's uh, certainly focusing on development. And uh, I wanted to ask you, what do you hope will develop from this conference? What do you hope will be some of the, the, the concrete actions that come from this conference? Well, for small islands developing states, we hope that uh, the big, the big uh, brothers are listening in and uh, be able to uh, deploy uh, infrastructure aid and uh, capacity building, you know, not necessarily come directly to us, but, you know, if they can uh, continue to put their efforts in supporting ITU, so ITU can help uh, develop the small and developing states, that would be very good for us. And that's what we would like. We've heard a couple of big, uh, big nations uh, increasing their support for ITU, and that's, uh, that's for us, is very pleasant in terms of an appreciative um, and appreciated in terms of the support that ITU is getting because we know for a fact that whatever ITU uh, support that they get from the big countries, it will help us a lot. And uh, continuing assistance from ITU is what we're looking forward to at the end of this conference. Well, please allow me to wish you the very best of the future and uh, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Great, and thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you.